Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. A former top Pentagon official has said, as India has been designated as a major defense partner by the US, it is time for the two countries to commit themselves to joint defense projects. Keith Webster, who represented the Pentagon in the Defense Trade and Technology Initiative in the Obama administration has said, that the governments of both the countries should make a decision on a joint program, and commit to the project. These decisions need to be made at the highest levels in both the governments, with a clear timeline of the project, against which the progress will be measured. The Indian government has sent a request for information related to Project P75I tender, to collect data on potential suppliers and their products. Rubin Central Maritime Design Bureau of Russia, has prepared the necessary information on Project 1650 submarine, to participate in the Project 75I tender, for building six submarines for the Indian Navy. Rubin Central Design Bureau plans to assist India, in the creation of Air Independent Power Plant, for Project P-75I of Indian Navy. The Malabar Joint Naval Exercise 2018, will take place in Guam, in which the US Navy will field its latest nuclear-powered supercarrier, USS Ronald Reagan, whereas the Indian Navy will send three of its ships including a stealth frigate and the aviation support will come from the long-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft. According to sources, Australia wouldn't be a part of the Malibu 2018. An Indian delegation has visited the defense facilities of United Aircraft Corporation in Russia. Russian specialists had made a detailed presentation of the IL-7690A and IL-7890A. The aircraft is suitable for regional airlift of troops, military equipment, and air dropping missions. Lockheed Martin has said, that India will emerge as the next major defense and aerospace center, as several major deals are set to be finalized between the Indian and US government. The areas of interest also includes naval utility helicopters and multi-role helicopters, where Lockheed Martin and Sikorsky are ready to offer Seahawk platform, that is proven and operates around the world. Phil Shaw, the chief executive of Lockheed Martin India has said, that Lockheed can help the Indian Navy to acquire the helicopters very quickly, as there is an active production line for the helicopters. The Modi government is in talks with the US for an exemption, to allow India to procure the S-400 system from Russia. The government has conveyed to the US, that India cannot abruptly scale down its reliance on military hardware from Russia, given the history of defense cooperation between the two countries. Airbus and Dassault Aviation have announced, that both the firms have decided to join forces, for the development and production of a French-German combat fighter, a project that was unveiled last year. The aircraft is being called the Future Combat Air System, and it is intended to enter service by 2040. The Babu Atomic Research Center, has developed a new lightweight bulletproof jacket. The jackets are being currently tested by senior officials from the Central Armed Police Force. The Indian Navy has inducted the third ship, of the landing craft utility Mark IV project at Port Blair. It is capable of transporting equipment such as a June tank, T-72, and other armored vehicles. The Defense Ministry has said, that the remaining five ships of the project are an advanced stage of construction, and are scheduled to be inducted into the Indian Navy over the next year. Omar Dragic.